heart and not the brain is the organ of the body that produces most electricity? It is. The heart actually produces up to 50 times more energy than the brain. And I can say that because when we compare the EKG with the EEG, this is what we see. We do an EKG by measuring the electrical activity of the heart. We put the electrodes on the skin and we measure the electricity produced by the heart. And when we do the same thing with the brain, we call that an EEG. Now if we put those two graphs on the same scale, this is when we realize that the amplitudes of the waves of the EKG are 50 times higher than those of the brain. So that's one interesting fact that we know about the heart. Actually, the heart produces enough electricity with each heartbeat to light a little light bulb. Interesting, isn't it? Another thing that you need to know about the heart is that the heart is also an endocrine gland, which means it produces hormones. This has been discovered around the 70s when the first hormones they discovered had to do with helping with regulating blood pressure. But now they have discovered many more hormones produced by the heart. And some of them are what we call feel-good hormones. They make hormones that make you feel good. Some of them are endorphins, like natural morphines that we secrete ourselves. Some of them are produced by the brain, but some of them are produced by the heart. And also, oxytocin, which is also known as the love hormone, is produced sometimes by the heart. It's produced by the heart when we are in love. And this is why it feels so good to be in love. And this is why sometimes people get addicted to the feeling of being in love. And also, just after you made love, your, your whole system is flooded with oxytocin, which makes you feel so good and so relaxed and so in love. <laughs> So oxytocin is one of the hormones that is produced by the heart. Another interesting thing to know about the heart is that the heart is very rich in nervous tissue. It has lots of neurons and nerves that are in the muscles, around the muscles, and this nervous tissue is so well organized and so complex that it can get information from other organs, including the brain, process that information, send new information to all the other organs, including the brain, and it's a real data processing center. Another interesting thing to know about the intelligence of the heart is that it also, the heart is also known to have memory. I'm sure you've heard about those cases where people after a heart transplant started to suddenly out of the blue have a passion for let's say play tennis or play the violin just to discover down the line that their donor was a tennis player or was passionate with the violin. So it seems that the heart can have its own memory just by itself. So the heart produces electricity, the heart produces hormones, the heart is intelligent. And now the fourth thing I want you to know about the heart is that the heart, because it produces electricity, also generates an electromagnetic field. And this can be measured up to 15 feet outside of the body. So it's, when we take an EKG, instead of putting the electrodes on the skin, if we put the electrodes up to 15 feet outside of you, you can still measure your EKG. So the electricity of the heart goes way beyond your skin and can be detected up to 15 feet outside your body. That's a big area. Like if you hold a baby in your arms, the baby is bathed in your electromagnetic field. Same thing if you dance with somebody or if just talking with somebody, you both interact through your electromagnetic field. Now talking about the electromagnetic field and the intelligence of the heart, I have to tell you something. The heart has its capacity to get information from the outside world. The brain does that through the senses. The 
brain gets information to the eyes, the nose, the ears, the fingers, the touch and everything. Well, the heart has the same capacity. The heart can get information from the external world through some captors, some receptors of, of information. And it does that through the electromagnetic field. So we don't have really, science doesn't really have a name for that yet, but it's been known for ages by something like intuition or sixth sense, or we have a feeling, we sense things, we sense how people feel. This is why sometimes when we meet somebody and we say, there's something change about you. You have a new boyfriend. You're in love. This is how we can pick some information before our brain gets the information. So, and we do that through picking because the heart can get information from the field of the other person. So because the heart produces those feel-good hormones, it's through those, it's by experiencing, experiencing emotions that trigger those hormones that we can influence the outside world. So every time you experience joy or gratitude or compassion or love, not only you send chemicals into your body that make you feel good, but also it fills your field, your electromagnetic field, with some qualities of information that other people can pick up on. That's very important to know. Because now that you know that, you know that it's your responsibility to send the, the type of signal that you want to send. If you want people to want to be around you, if you want people to trust you, if you want people to enjoy being in your company, it's easy. All you have to do is to broadcast joy, compassion, empathy, understanding, love, and people will get it. So that's my message to you. I really encourage you to consciously, many times a day, experience those higher emotions of the heart so that you can influence other people and how they perceive you. So you have a heart, use it and broadcast loving energy.